Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and this is the third video in the series of where we were looking at how to affect elements on the page based upon the viewport height and on the viewport width. And we started off with this uh, right here where we had the, uh, the gal in the background who is 100% the height of the viewport minus this section height. And what happens now is when we scroll, it's a parallax image, and you scroll up to the top, and once you get to the top, this uh, section becomes sticky and stays at the top, but in the beginning, it's at the bottom. And then on this text on the side, we can resize the screen, and as we resize the screen, the box size changes, the text size, the text line height changes as we move the width back and forth, and also the box stays centered no matter where we have the position on it. So I started looking at this a little bit more and I thought to myself, well, instead of just having that box over here on the side, how about we have an entire column over here, top to bottom. You can put some text in it, image, whatever you wanted. And so let's take a look at how we can build that. So we're gonna say we're gonna add a row. And in this case here, we're gonna make it a three column row, just in case you want to move uh, stuff around on the page. So we'll just start off with three columns. And as we did in the last video, we want to make sure that on our top section, if I can get it to pop up, we want to make sure that we have no padding set on this at all. And then on the row that we're creating, we're going to leave it at 100% width, but we're going to get rid of all the padding on that as well. And then one of the things we have to do is because ClickFunnels likes putting a lot of padding around the columns and changing it as the viewport size changes, we have to go into our CSS and we have to do a couple things. Now on this page here, I have the entire page set up to be 100% full width. So all of the columns are going to be, I'm sorry, not the columns, the rows are going to be 100% the width of the page. And then I also go in here and I take out the padding on the outside of the columns. And I also have code to take out the padding on the inside of the columns, but we're not going to need that here. But then also, for some reason, ClickFunnels has it built in that once you get past 170 pixels, it changes the padding. It actually increases it, I think, from 10 to 20 pixels. So I set this in here that says that when it goes below 170 to set that padding at zero because that's what we have up here as well. So we just want everything to stay exactly the same as we're moving along. So the next thing we need to do is we need to come in and we need to find this first column. So we'll come in and we will click on that first column. And one thing we want to do is we want to set the background color on that to white. We're not going to put an image in there, even though you could if you had a really nice tall image that fit in there properly. But we're just going to make it white for right now. And then we're going to come down and um, it's acting wonky again today. Let's see if we can get the, here we go, uh, get the CSS ID selector to show up. And we will grab this right here and we're going to go back into our CSS and we're going to drop that in and then what we're going to do is we're going to come above here and we're going to grab out this line because this is the line that made this background image 100% of the viewport height minus 130 pixels and the 130 pixels is the height of that bottom section down here which is essentially your header so we're going to put in a couple of curly brackets and we are going to pop that in and you see here on the back the entire thing comes up now the next thing we want to do is we could put in text we could put in whatever but I'm going to put in an image element so we're gonna put in our image and here it is now let's just go into our image editor and find a good image for it and we're gonna use this image right here that I got from someone else's site that I was uh, working on and so we have it here and it's a little bit big so what I want to do actually is I want to size this column down okay now with the image itself I want to go in there and I just want to put a little bit of a shadow around it just a light shadow around it and then what I see here is we got a little bit of padding along the edge let's see if that's in the column it may well be and 
see if we can get the column settings to come up. Nothing is in there. But if we inspect this column, what we're going to find is that there is 10 pixels of padding on here. It's funny, when I built my original one here, I wasn't seeing that padding, but now all of a sudden it is popping in. So I grabbed some code and let's just put this in where we have all the rest of our code to get rid of all that unnecessary padding. And so we're saying the call inner, we're going to go padding left and right of zero. And now it made it full width, so we can close this out. And now the only other thing we have to do is we want to come in and grab the CSS ID selector for this image. And we'll come down, click the hashtag, copy that out of there. We're going to go back into our CSS. We're going to put that in. And what we want to do is we want to center this on the page. And so what we're going to put in, we're going to put in padding top of 35 VH. So that's 35% of the viewport height. And I put it in the wrong place. So let me get that out of there and put it where it's supposed to be. There we go. So what that is, is that the top of this image now is 35% of the viewport height and so that puts it right about in the middle. Now if we wanted to center this image right in the middle what we can do is we can come in and inspect the element and we see here that the image is 110 pixels tall and so we can go back into our CSS and I already put a little bit of the code in here we have calc what we're going to do is we're going to calculate a number here and then set that to our padding top. So we're going to want to calculate the height of 50% of the viewport and then we're going to want to subtract off half of that 110 pixels. So we're going to subtract off 155 pixels. I'm sorry, not 155, 55. 55 pixels. And then that should center us in the middle of the page except for the fact that we have this 130 pixels down here at the bottom so we actually have to make this 185 pixels and then that will center us right in the middle of the image at the top part of the page so let's take a look and it's not necessarily going to do it here because his banner is actually over part of the top of her head so let's go in and we will reload this page and we will see if that centers it in the middle should be about right here and let's see what we got Okay, that's a, uh, well, I'm awfully wide here. Let me see. Let's just pare this down a little bit. So, yeah, that I think looks pretty good um, considering everything. So it's right centered in the middle, and we have the scrolling parallax, and everything goes up and down as we want it to. So that is it for now. Hopefully uh, you learned something from this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.